In this video, we're going to be discussing layers. And layers are a good option for building your website. Um, and you can find them under the toolbox. And they're going to be under the layout uh, subheading. We're going to scroll down here, layout, and then layer. And we're going to draw out a layer. Now, a layer is basically a container. And what I mean by that is within this layer, we can, well, first of all, we can move it around. The layer can have its own attributes, uh, object properties, uh, style. We can do backgrounds uh, just so, just like you can on page properties. Uh, layers can have its own set of solid image gradient, texture, video. For this one, just so we can see it a little bit better because by default it's transparent. We're going to give it some this yellowish brown. Okay, so here's our layer. So we have our layer drawn out. And is a layer is basically a container. If we go back into the object properties of this, um, we can style it, order it, uh, just like we can images and text, uh, different types of borders, different types of backgrounds. Uh, we do some shadowing. We can use the layer as a form. And there's some various other aspects here, which we will we'll cover a little bit later. But I'm going to show you how a layer works as far as being a container. Let's go up here in our toolbox. We're going to scroll down to our image. We're going to open up this. We're going to put this apple in there. Throw that apple in there. Why not? We're going to scale this down a little bit. And then to be able to put it into the container of that layer, we're going to scroll it up. And once I'm totally inside, you will see a solid blue bar all the way around this layer. So let me scroll this in here. And once I do that, boom, there's that blue layer. I highlight this, click and highlight this picture, you'll see that solid blue line. That means I'm inside that layer. So I can come back out here, move this layer, and everything that's in that layer will move with me. If this image is just one pixel outside of that layer, it won't move or be contained within that layer. And that's important when you're building web pages because we want things to be in groups and pairs. So we're going to create some text here. We're going to center it. We're going to, I don't know, just create some new text here. This is text. And we're going to give it a head one heading. There we go. And we're going to Click on that, move that up. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, let's move it down here. Anyway, so you get the idea. But anyway, and there you go. And you can see as you click on the layer, you can move everything that's in that layer with you. Now, layers are have so many attributes that I'm not going to be able to go through them all in this video. But what layers are good for are building blocks to your website. Now, one of the good things with layers is be able to use them for headers and footers. So, let's just say I wanted to create a header for my website. Okay? So what we would do is we would move this all the way up to the zero, zero position. And you'd see right down here in my properties tab, layer, layer one, position zero zero so it's way up there in the corner if I move it down you'll see it positions change there so we're gonna stick this up here 
all the way up to the top. Now, if we click out to the off click at the layer, click on to the page properties. By default, my page is set at 970 pixels. Okay, so we're going to X out of that. We're going to come back here and highlight this layer. I'm going to come down here and stretch this over. And we are going to stretch this layer all the way over to 970 pixels. How can I tell I've done that? Well, in my properties panel right here, layer one, I'm at 970 pixels wide. Okay. Now, another thing I need to do is go into my object properties. I'm in my layer. I'm going to click relative horizontal sizing and my alignment is going to be center. I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to click F5 so that we can preview. And as you can see, my layer filled the entire browser all the way across the top. So no matter what I do here, everything stays within that container. Pretty cool, huh? <laughs> We're at 970, 970, that's my web size browser, my web size width. And we went with object properties, relative and horizontal sizing, alignment center and then okay okay now we can still move everything within this page we can move our text down here scroll over with the scroll bar and move our image let's move our image all the way to the very top corner let's preview this F5 on my keyboard and there you have it everything is centered. Now, there are a lot of more attributes to the layer that we'll discuss in later videos, but just to let you know, once again, you can use a background image to this. Uh, Let's just, I don't know, just try this as an example. Uh, let's do a gradient. There we go. Let's do this ugly ass gradient. Okay, there we go. All right, cool. <laughs> All right, let's add another image or another, another layer on here. We're going to add to. We are going to go down to layouts, layer. We're gonna drag something out here. We're gonna click it up to here. We're gonna snap it to the side and then to the bottom of the layer above it. We're going to move it out to 970. It is at 970. We're gonna properties, object properties, style. Background, let's do image. Let's just for the fun of it grab that castle that I had before. I'm going to do do not repeat. I'm going to do cover. We're going to say okay. And then I'm going to grab this layer and make it a little bigger. There we go. That's good. Now, I'm going to take a look at this real quick. Um, I'm going to hit F5. Oops. Hit F5. And that doesn't look good, does it? So let's go back and see what we did wrong. All right. This layer. 
object properties. You know, we forgot to do, we forgot to do relative relative horizontal sizing and center. Okay. Now let's preview it. F5. There we go. All right. Let's go back and I'm going to show you one more thing which I'm going to discuss more in a video of itself, but I am going to object properties. Style. And this time instead of cover, I'm going to do parallax. Now watch what this does. Hit OK. I'm going to hit F5. Well, you can't see it because I don't have anything below it, so let's let me go in and create some stuff below it. We're going to go back into WYSIWYG Web Builder. And I am going to create a layer. That'll allow me to scroll. Let's do some color so I can actually see it. Uh, object properties. Object properties. My computer is giving me some hiccups. Let's do uh, this light gray here. Okay. Alright. So, let me scroll here. Position. Whoa. There we are. Position zero, zero. Or position zero. We want to be along the edge. Okay. Uh, we're going to scroll this out to 970. Nine seventy. We're going to scroll it down. I don't know. We just want it to be fairly far down the page, so I can show you what parallax scrolling does. I think that'll work. All right. Let's see what this does. F five. Okay. Whoop! Once again, you know what we forgot to do? We forgot to tell it to do page prop object properties we forgot to do relative horizontal sizing and center in page center there we go okay f5 boom there we are all right here's what parallax scrolling does it it moves the page down when you have enough space to do so with a picture or an image or a pattern whatever um, and the image in the background moves at a slower pace than what you're scrolling so it gives kind of a, a weird kind of cool effect to it and I don't know if you can see that I'm not I don't know if I'm justifying it enough or not but it gives it a really cool effect and like I said we'll go under We'll discuss parallax scrolling in another video, but it's just something you should be aware of, and I'm sure you've probably seen it on other websites, but it's really a cool effect that can easily be affected in WYSIWYG Web Builder. And um, as, yeah, I'm just amazed at the, the amount of features that this software has, and um, I'm not doing them justice at the moment, but as we continue to build layer by layer by layer as far as uh, um, you know function on function on function you should be able to see how awesome this software is you don't have to be stuck with using those templates that other websites offer you um, like Wix or whatever you know you can be as creative as you want using whatever you want without being stuck into into templates and um, once again, I encourage you to look around, explore all the various aspects of the software because you, you'll be able to find some things and discover some things on your own that 
I probably won't even realize. But anyway, thanks for joining us for this video. Um, we'll look forward to you in the next one. And um, explore, look around, learn, and enjoy. This is awesome software. You will be so amazed at what you can do with it. Thanks for joining us.